Gavin Beers <laughs> is a charming husband, a model father, a loyal friend, a powerful preacher, a wise pastor, a deep theologian, a skillful churchman. The man is a true genius. And, uh, and uh, Gavin, I can't read your handwriting. <laughs> That's about the best. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty good. Well done. And I take it I, I don't get my 20 pounds now? No. <laughs> the main reason I've been asked to speak is to uh, quell some apprehensions that have been circulating through the denomination over the last uh, couple of, of months of what will become of our beloved church, which we so dearly love, in the hands of an Ulsterman as, uh, as mo moderator. And it's true, he can be uh, cagey at times, but I want to assure you of two things, that th there's a solution to this, that if we can get one speech uh, sometime every day where a person takes a stab at the Pope <laughs> and looks toward the Republic, then everything should be fairly, fairly calm. Yeah. <laughs> and if there, those of you, just a, sh a quick tip, if you're, if you're hoping to kind of extend the allotment of the time you're given for your speech, if you'll put some orange on the paper and make sure that the moderator can see it, you'll, you'll probably get some, some help there. Well, I remember when uh, Mr. Beers first arrived uh, at our, his first General Assembly as a student. He had crossed uh, the Northern Channel and come in and among us, and I remember speaking with him, and who would have known then uh, all that would follow, both in terms of his...